Instructors will receive an email with a locker number and combination to their locker. After you've entered your combination, go ahead and press upward to open it. Inside, you'll find components for the students if they should need some, and also the locker number and combinations for the students. Please go ahead and lock your locker when, the, when you're finished. After you went to the faculty locker, go ahead and take your instructor's forms to the lab and instruct your students to go to cslaee.com website. There they can get their checkout forms. Hi, I'm a Cal State LA student. Now we're going to navigate to the EE Lab website. First, look to the left and you'll see locker request forms. Click on the lab that you are attending. As you can see, this form is not complete. Scroll to the bottom to fill out the form. The form must be fully complete to print. Each student is required to have a partner. If the instructor authorizes you and you don't have a partner, click on one student working alone and fill out the form. Click on a different box when the form is complete. As you can see, the form is is ready to print. Click right here to print your form. After the student has fully completed the form on the computer, they will go to the printer and get their form and then they will hand it into their instructor where they will get the combination for their locker. After you've collected the student's form, go ahead and take your form, take the locker number 1028 and put it on the student form right here, 1028. Then you will keep the student's form for our records and then give this other form to the student where they have their locker number and combination so they can get into their equipment. After you've collected all the student forms that they filled out, please go ahead and put them in the locker. During the semester break, the technician will go ahead and inventory them and make sure all the equipment is there. The information on these forms will be used to contact the students if there's any loss or breakage. At the last class of the semester, tell the students to return all the equipment to their locker. If there's any loss of equipment, the records will be placed on hold until the equipment is paid for. You can pay for the equipment by going to the EE Laboratory Support window.